Hi, Jason Unicorn here. Today with Good Smile Company Nandoroid Series number 121 and featuring Saber from the anime Fate Stay Night. Alright, this is actually called Saber Super Movable Edition. Okay, and that's the front. The box is, has a height of 21 centimeters. Um, 17 centimeters across it's about 8 centimeters thick and that's a side so I'm just showing you the poses there's a back with more poses and the gimmicks which are basically swords and the two phases um, yeah just website I can't read the Japanese and on the side so let's get into it All right, out of the box. Oops. So it comes with in two um, well, really nice um, plastic covers to protect the doll. And um, on the base here, which you the base is kept, it has um, hexagon holes, lots of them. And with this older device, the peg by the bottom is thicker, so meaning it will only fit the base and not the back of the door, and the smaller peg. So, yeah. It looks pretty high, so I don't know how it's gonna look. Anyways, we'll look at that later. Okay, so that's what we're getting. Two heads with uh, different fe facial features. Two fists. One is straight and one is at an angle. And the open palms, they just basically go like that. They're both straight and not at an angle. Um, two sword sheaths. Big one and a small one. A sword with the magic part effect. The swords, and I'll just show you. Okay, let's just. Oh, uh, right. So the sword sheaths, or whatever it's called, has holes here, so you can peg them into the open palm, which has a peg in the middle, like so. So it appears that she'll be holding. The sword, very nice, and you can still put in the sword while she's the pegs in there. Nice touch. The other fist has holes in them, so they can hold the sword. Okay. So there's three swords all together with two shields, but this one is like a power up saber or some sort. I didn't actually watch the anime, so I can't comment on why this sword is special. It's see through. Okay. All right. Next, we'll be looking at um, the doll itself. It stands at 10 centimeters. Alright, here's a doll disassembled. Okay, let's get into it. So it's easier to show um, movement and stuff like that. Okay, this leg. So it can go forward, backward. The knees bend. The knees do bend. 90 degree and the foot is on the ball joint which is pretty remarkable even though they did not give you any extra feet so you can do the 360 and it can come off and wiggle about left right up down left right up down and all that 360 okay so let's put back the feet oops
it's almost like putting together a Gundam. Mm, okay, it keeps falling off. All right. And next are the side skirts. Familiar? Sound really sounds like a Gundam. Okay. I'll put the back skirt. It's on a ball joint. Then the front skirt. So it has a peg here. No, oh, maybe it goes like that. I don't know. Alright. So the peg goes in like that. And then the front skirt. It's a C shaped thing and it clips here. So you got the front skirt there. Covering up the legs. Between the legs. And the side skirt on another ball joint. And the final side skirt on the other side. And there you go. Has a really nice uh, 3D effect. Put it on backwards. Hmm, I think I did. Oh, sorry. Put it on the wrong way. Oh no, I think I did it right. Okay. So that's the bottom half. Looks really nice. So there's a peg here, and it goes on to the bottom the top half of the body and this is on a peg itself it can rotate and it can 360 as well yeah the hands only go in one direction the arms so you swing you swing up like that so the hand the arms can rotate and it can bend 90 degree and the hands on ball joint so yeah the default hands are open so they got no pegs or anything like that let's peg in yeah that's the hole for the head Oh my god, everything's falling apart. Mm, now we do the head. Three parts, the hair, back hair, and the head. We'll try this head. It's a revolting type of bolt joint for the neck. So we just put it in. Cover up the head the hair. Ta -da. And there you go. Saber. Yeah, and like I said, 10 centimeters tall. Looks really good. Worth the money spent on the doll. Now let's see how it goes with the stand. Hmm. Okay, I'll see you in the next part. Alright, here's an Android. Saber from Fate Stay Night 121 Good Smile Company. I am really pleased with the design detail and the posability you can get from this doll. I didn't think you can move so much, but because of the ball joints, it's, it's possible. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Very good doll. Alright, 
And that's it from Jason Unicorn. Sayonara till the next video.